Hey guys, welcome back to Trendy Gadget. Today, we'll talk about the weird reason why the 3060 has more VRAM than the 3060 Ti and 3070. Let's head into it. The RTX 3060. Traditionally, Nvidia's 60 class GPUs have been the single most popular gaming cards on Steam, with the GTX 1060 having long been at the top of the GPU gaming charts since its introduction in 2016. At present, an estimated 90% of GeForce members play with the GTX class GPU. There's unstoppable momentum behind ray tracing, which has quickly redefined the new standard of gaming," said Matt Webling, vice president of global GeForce marketing at NVIDIA. The RTX 3060 brings the strengths of the RTX 30 series to millions more gamers everywhere. With newer gaming titles, bigger worlds come with cinematic graphics and real-time ray tracing. These are gaming workloads that are suitable for handling only RTX-powered platforms. The GeForce RTX 3060 has twice the raster performance and 10 times the ray tracing performance of the GTX 1060, making it a great opportunity to upgrade and the foundation of a gaming PC platform powerful enough to handle at 60 frames per second cutting-edge titles such as Cyberpunk 2077 and Fortnite with RTX on. For those looking to upgrade from a GTX 1060 class card, the RTX 3060 is intended to feature 3584 CUDA cores, 12GB of 192-bit GDDR6 memory, and will be the first RTX 30 card to support resizable bar. Starting from $329, the RTX 3060 12 gigabytes will be available in late February. For quite some time, we've been expecting Nvidia to announce the RTX 3060 12 gigabytes, and here it is now. Nvidia said the RTX 3060 provides more gamers with RTX capabilities, particularly those who have traditionally used the GTX 1060 class GPU. More VRAM than the 3060 Ti and 3070. The RTX 3060 provides two times the raster performance and 10 times the ray tracing performance of the GTX 1060, Nvidia says. We wonder why, since the GTX 1060 was never a ray tracing card in the first place. This is even a comparison. The key specifications of the RTX 3060 include 13 shader T-flops, 25 RT T-flops for ray tracing, 101 tensor T-flops to power Nvidia DLSS, 192-bit memory interface, a 12GB of GDDR6 memory. Nvidia also confirmed that, along with the usual Nvidia DLSS, Reflex and Broadcast, the RTX 3060 will be the first RTX 30 series card to support resizable bar. The RTX 3060 12 gigabytes will be based on a core GA106 that features 3584 CUDA cores with a 1.32 gigahertz base clock and a 1.78 gigahertz boost. The card will have a total memory clock of 16 gigabytes per second and will have a board power of 170 watts in total. Starting at $329, the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060 will be available in late February. Nvidia will release an updated GeForce driver and corresponding vBIOS updates at around the same time, which will provide resizable bar support for all RTX 30 GPUs, including Founders Editions and AIB add-in cards. The RTX 3060 12 gigabytes will be available from Nvidia's AIB partners, including Asus, Colorful, EVGA, Gainward, Galaxy, Gigabyte, Innovision 3D, MSI, Palette, PNY, and Zotac in both stock and overclock models. NVIDIA having just announced the RTX 3060, 3060 has 12 gigabytes of VRAM, the TI only has 8. But why does it have more VRAM than the 3060 Ti and 3070? First, we have to understand VRAM significance. VRAM is an abbreviation for random access memory for video and is used to store data for graphics unless you have a computer with an integrated video chip. VRAM is generally located on your PC's video card. The more VRAM a computer has, the more images that it can display at one time in 2D and 3D in order to maintain faster frame rates than rigs with restricted VRAM. Additional VRAM requires advanced buffering. Video random access memory and like its name suggests, it is short term memory for your graphics card. This pool of temporary memory is easier to understand and contains four different types of image data, unlike the system RAM of a CPU. Shading, small programs for calculating vertex positions and pixel colors that run on the video card. Vertex buffering, this type of image data is otherwise known as a vertex buffer object or VBO and represents the floating data used by vertex shaders as input for 
for non-immediate mode rendering, index buffering, an array of unsigned integers specifying how to link vertex buffers to form the triangles that make up the 3D scene, textures, compress or uncompress image data from bitmaps, or digital representation of object surfaces used as input by fragment shaders. For loading times, an image quality, VRAM plays a significant role. When an image resolution is high, it takes more VRAM to successfully render the image. Otherwise, your VRAM can overload the textures and pictures you are trying to render and cause the GPU to overflow into the RAM of the system. Gaming performance is affected in a negative way when your GPU floods data into the RAM. 4 GB of VRAM for gaming in 1080p, 6 and 8 GB of VRAM for gaming in 1440p, to maintain daily operations, every system has its own set of requirements. Throughout the last several decades, developers have designed several types of VRAM to meet consumer demand. If a specific amount of VRAM is required for the games you play most often, it is important to know what VRAM level is best for your system. This should have demonstrated the huge importance of VRAM. It's one of the most important factors regarding the quality of GPUs nowadays, which is why Nvidia decided in order to make it as attractive as possible, the 3060 must have as much VRAM as possible and therefore more than the 3060 Ti and the 3070. What do you think about the RTX 3060? Can you understand why it has more VRAM than the RTX 3060 Ti and 3070? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.